welcome to uh, Folk Tier um, Entertainment and today I will be uh, showing you uh, the Dell V-Ranger backup and replication software. We will be discussing about uh, V-Ranger user interface, backup groups, job options, my inventory, my jobs, my repositories, my reports under the user interface. Okay, and also uh, a, a basic job setup. Uh, what are the uh, different options uh, we have under VRanger backup and replication? As you know, uh, VRanger backup and replication software we use to backup our vCenter servers uh, in the form of snapshots. And uh, this is one of the uh, recent software which captured the market. Uh, which is pretty stable when compared uh, to other uh, enterprise uh, backup software. This is also uh, kind of a you know uh, a cloud-based software where you will take an initial snapshot of the v of the vCenter service and then replicate to your cloud or to your uh, offsite storage. So I'm just uh, waiting for the the GUI to come up here. Okay, so it's taking a little bit time to, to load, uh, but um, I think it will be up uh, in a minute. So, um, so guys, um, this is uh, my first tutorial about uh, Dell VRanger backup and replication. However, I'll be, uh, I mean, uploading uh, videos on various topics for uh, VRanger. Okay, so uh, we have the uh, the GUI uh, coming up now. Um, okay, so okay, it's loading. So it's uh, loading the core components, and you can see that the current version what we are using is a uh, version 6.1.0. Okay, so this is the first uh, uh, user interface, and um, this is the first look of the user interface what you see. Okay. And initially it will show your vCenter <laughs> under the virtual tab under my inventory and as of now we don't have any physical missions because this is my test lab okay so, um, so that's the vCenter okay so well, let's see uh, uh, the options now let's click on backup groups you know backup groups is nothing but if you have a, a setup servers you can add those servers under one group so those are all different backup groups easy to manage my inventory Okay, my jobs, it shows your running tasks, queued, successful, failed, okay, your scheduled jobs, your disabled jobs. So these are all uh, about complete about jobs. And my repositories, these are destination where your NAS, your uh, SAN, your NFS shares, or you can also connect to your uh, data domain. Okay, my reports is, is all about uh, job summary report, okay, uh, your replication job summary report and everything. So let's go back. Let, let's drill down a little bit. Okay, under V Center. So that's my. Uh, so that, that that is the uh, the granular structure. Okay, what you have. So these are all the different uh, virtual machines what we have under that particular V Center, and we are backing up. Now, okay. Now, as I said, so go to the uh, my jobs now. Uh, 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 we have uh, now. So no running we'll jobs. My jobs. Okay, and we have the failed <coughs> jobs too. Okay, and successful uh, tasks 115 and uh, scheduled jobs 11. Okay, now um, let's uh, view. Okay, so if you look at, I mean, it's clearly evident that it's showing all information what exactly backed up the type, the source, the destination, the status of the backup job, the start time, end time. That's the standard format what we have. So these are all the scheduled jobs what we have and it shows the same format okay so it's it's, it's pretty easy to understand uh, what is the next turn of the job when it is scheduled and everything okay so this is not very complicated so let's uh, open one job and let's see I'll just click on edit here okay so this is the standard um, <coughs> backup job uh, wizard or the configuration uh, wizard okay what we see so you'll get the job name and description and you will select your virtual machines okay it will retrieve all the list of virtual machines from the v center so you select your recent your virtual machine which you want to back up click on next and this is not 
uh, under uh, which, which disk you want to backup and now this is your destination okay so this is your repository where your backup want to go so just click on next so this is a, uh, the transport selection how the uh, the connection or the data transfer should happen okay and these are the different options uh, destination uh, check for free space guest convincing cataloging and this is your retention policy and what kind of backup incremental differential whatever it is and your schedule completely about and your threshold side you can configure here and this is the schedule when to run when not to run it's pretty easy guys so this is what I'm talking about so this is I mean I've just done my a uh, little bit homework okay so it's pretty easy here and uh, I, I feel uh, it, it's good <coughs> it's good okay so this is the license file about okay uh, so how many virtual machines uh, that are licensed and how many replication machines that are licensed and everything so pretty uh, pretty uh, straightforward it is and nothing much complicated and uh, yeah, if you look at the options here, uh, so we have the database configuration, the email configuration where the notification configure that is particularly uh, the virtual virtual appliance configuration, okay, uh, your virtual machine host, physical machines, your product licensing, <coughs> your jobs configuration, uh, yeah, maximum number of tasks and host timeouts, your catalog and your transport failover if anything that is your uh, for your replication jobs so this is it guys under the user interface okay and these are the standard tabs what we have add backup job replicate job or remove or edit run failover test failover cancel disable all right so um yeah so that's it guys so this is the first video so stay tuned for more videos thank you so much for watching and have a, a nice day once again bye bye